Best and worst quarterbacks in the NFL. We have about 46-ish quarterbacks, and I'm going to put them into six different categories. We got the MVP caliber quarterbacks this season. We got all pro quarterbacks that have been hooping. Not so much MVP. Good, mid, terrible trash. Doo-doo, caca, hot bersura. Um, and then we got injured, but still trash. So, like, there's two I have in mind for that already. But we'll get to that. First up. Aaron Rodgers. Um, yeah, bro. I'm really disappointed in the Jets this season. He has incredible weapons across the field. And I feel like that defense is supposed to be good, but they're not playing that well. Um, Aaron Rodgers, bro, I want to put you in good, but you've been mid this season, bro. You've been absolutely mid this season. And it's sickening. And, yeah, Tua Tungavailoa. Um, Tua, bro. Like, Tua. He's like... He just looks so scared back there throwing the ball. And, I mean, if I had two scary concussions or three scary concussions, I'd, I'd feel the same as him. But we're ranking him on play of football, not his scaredness. And his play on football is mid. I went to the game against the Rams. He looks scary back there, bro. Like, he looks like me if I was playing quarterback in the NFL and I had two seconds to get rid of the ball or else I was getting sacked by 300-pound Freaking D lineman. Like, I don't want that either. So, it makes sense. Josh Allen, MVP caliber type season. Um, playing really well. Started to throw a couple more picks in the last couple weeks. Uh, but he's leading to the Bills on a good game. And I think that the Bills are going to end up and beat the uh, Chiefs for their first L of the season. If they don't, the Chiefs might go 17 0. But that's besides the point. We get Drake May, young rookie. Um, I think Drake May has good potential. I think if the Patriots can build around him a little bit and get him some better players and, you know, better teammates, he can be good. But we're talking about based off this season so far, I'm going mid. He has a chance to be on some, like, Josh Allen type, uh, you know, his his career could be some Josh Allen type thing. Um, Anthony Richardson <sighs> and Joe Flacco. I don't know, bro. Anthony Richardson, I want him to be good, but I still think he's in the midsection. The midsection, wow, that's crazy. And I'm going to put Joe Flacco there, too. Um, he's getting the start this week, so that'll be exciting for Colts fans. But we'll see, bro. I mean, he needs to start playing like he's a top-five pick, if I'm going to be honest. Trevor Lawrence, terrible trash doo-doo. Yes, Sersky. He's been uh, he's been quite bad this season, if I'm going to be honest. Um, the Jags suck. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to have a top pick. Do they take a quarterback? Do they trade it? I really don't know, but it's going to take them a lot. Uh, CJ Stroud, maybe a couple weeks ago I put CJ Stroud in good because he threw for 86 yards, but I still think CJ Stroud is a top quarterback in the NFL. He just makes plays that other quarterbacks don't make, um, and I think he's playing at a very high level. Will Levis, no. Mason Rudolph, no. Tyler Huntley, no. I'm putting all these backup Dolphins players in trash. Like This is saying a little bit about uh, Southern... Southeast of the U.S., we got Jacksonville, Miami, and Tennessee. Um, yeah, the South is not hooping right now. Jacoby, you're also in there, bro. You ain't no good. But we get a real demon right here. We get a real demon right here in Lamar Jackson's MVP candidate number one for me. I'm going to put the MVP caliber quarterbacks in order, okay? In order of who's playing the best. Um, yeah, I think he's MVP caliber, bro. He's I like, if he wins his third MVP, bro, and no rings, it's sad, but he's going to be one of the best regular season quarterbacks ever. Um, three MVPs, bro. I think Rodgers got four. Drew Brees only has one. Like, if Lamar gets a ring, like, is it crazy to say, like, he's a top 10 quarterback of all time, bro? Would that be crazy to say? Like, three MVPs and a ring? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. I might say that in one of my TikToks to see what people think. But yeah. And our first injured but trash, we got Deshaun Massage Watson. Um, these stinks, bro. These stinks. Jameis. I like Jameis, bro. I don't care if he throws picks. At least he's like makes the game interesting. I think Jameis is better than all these guys right here. All these guys right here. Um, Justin Fields. I think Justin Fields was good this season. He didn't get a lot of tick, but I think he had a, a good enough season to where I, he deserves a little bit of respect out of me when it comes to his playing skills, I'm going to be honest. Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson's been balling, bro. 3-0. He's been balling. Joe Burrow. He can't win MVP. 
He can't be MVP caliber because his team sucks, so I got to drop him to all pro. It's just how it is. But we are talking about QB play. So I think he is MVP caliber because we're talking about his QB play, and his QB play has been incredible. His the rest of his team just stinks. Mahomes, um, undefeated, is arguably the best quarterback in the NFL. But season-wise, he's uh, yeah. like he's having a good season, but he's Patrick Mahomes, so he goes into All-Pro. Okay? like He's playing okay, but he's Patrick Mahomes, so he belongs in the All-Pro season. Now, Justin Herbert, this brother's on MVP level, bro. I don't care what anybody says. You see who he's throwing to? Lab McClunky, Quentin Johnson, Josh Palmer, Will Disley, bro. Like, no disrespect to those guys, but those aren't the greatest weapons in the world. They're playing well this year for sure, so maybe we'll put some respect on their name soon. But, like, he went from Keenan Allen and Mike Williams to these guys, and he's still putting up great numbers, bro, and not turning the ball over and has a Chargers team that myself thought would come last in that division. He's balling, bro. Respect. Bo Nix playing well, bro. Bo Nix is looking like the second best rookie QB right now. Um, we know Caleb Williams stinks. Uh, Jaden Williams looks like Jaden Daniels looks like a demon, so that's good. Jordan Love, no, I'm not seeing it from you this season, bro. You threw too many picks. Next week they do play. They didn't play last week. They play against the Bears. That'll be a interesting game to see how he plays. We'll see how many picks he throws, if any. Uh, Malik Willis, I think he's like two and zero, three and zero this season. He's been playing well, bro. He's been playing well, but I'm gonna put him in the midsection. I gotta stop stop saying midsection. It sounds crazy. Sam Darnold started off the season here, and then he regressed to here, and he regressed again to here. The last couple games, watching Sam Darnold play football, um, you know, he's got Justin Jefferson, so it makes him look better than he is, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think he just keeps dropping on my list of quarterbacks because he hasn't been playing that well lately. Uh, Caleb Williams, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not going to do you dirty and put you in terrible trash doo-doo, but you've been playing very subpar. Jared Goff, after last week, he belongs here, but he's been playing really well this season besides throwing five picks last week. Um, all the way up until last week, he was, you know, borderline MVP caliber because, you know, he's completing every pass. But he does have a stacked team, but he's been playing well as their quarterback. Dak Prescott, injured but still trash. He was playing terrible before he got hurt. Um... I think they should play Trey Lance for the rest of the season. I don't know how old Cooper Rush is. Maybe Cooper Rush is a young guy that they're trying to develop as well. But I feel like the hype on Trey Lance, like you got to give him an opportunity. Um, Cooper Rush is pretty bad, though. Like He looked pretty bad against the Eagles. Maybe that could change next week. Jaden Daniels, he's playing like all pro. Um, if he goes out and beats the Eagles tomorrow night, he will be back in the MVP caliber race for sure. Uh, but right now, I'm going to have them in all pro. They got to beat a good team, bro. The Commanders can beat a good team. I'll put some respect on their name for show, even though that's a rival in my division because y'all know I'm an Eagles fan, baby. Go Birds, baby. Go Birds, baby. Um, Daniel Jones. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. You have a lot of potential, bro. Like, you make some plays, and it's like, okay. That's why he's been the starter for six years. And then he makes some play, and it's like, come on, man. He's a buster. Jalen Hurts, borderline MVP caliber. But, like, he's running the ball a lot. He's not really throwing for a whole lot of yards. So, like, statistically, I'm going to put him in the all-pro section. Um, I don't think that he's at the MVP caliber yet throwing the ball as a quarterback. But he's playing well. Like, he's, 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 he's doing good. He's doing good. Bryce Young, back-to-back -back wins. He belongs in the mid-section, in the mid-category. He belongs in the mid-category for show. Andy Dalton's trash. Derek Carr's trash. Spencer Rattler's trash for sure. Um, dang, now I gotta start going down, uh, and scrolling through. We get Baker. Baker's been good, bro. He started off, he's like, he's kind of had the same type of season as, uh, Sam Darnold. Like, he was MVP caliber, but it started, his two best receivers got hurt, bro, so he dropped. But I think Baker's been playing solid, bro. He's like giving his chance to, his team a chance to win every week. Kirk belongs in the good. Um, Matt Stafford belongs in the good. I went to the game, like I said, they kicked six field goal those five field goals pissed me off I think this is Brock Purdy and put Brock Purdy in the good he just got Christian McCaffrey back so I think when McCaffrey back he's gonna start playing a lot better again um Kyler Murray that's all pro right there Kyler Murray belongs in the all pro section for Shoddy. he been balling he looks like a demon um yeah he's looking like a 510 legend Gino makes ridiculously bad plays but he deserves a little bit of respect and then we got Raiders quarterbacks, and they all belong here. Is this Jimmy G? 
I don't know if that's Jimmy G. I really don't know who this is, bro. Number 10? Peterman? Nate, Nate Peterman? I don't know. But yeah, this is the list that we got, bro. Let's go through it real quick just for the actual good quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson, number one in MVP. Josh Allen, number two. I feel like they probably have Mahomes and Hurts at three and four for MVP. And then you're probably looking at Burrow, uh, Herbie, Jared Goff, Kyler Murray, CJ, Jaden Daniels. Um, and Russ probably can't win MVP. He only played three games. But yeah, those are looking like the top quarterbacks in the NFL right now. I um, feel like if Baker's players didn't get hurt, he'd be all pro. Uh, Purdy, if Ayuk was still playing, he'd be all pro. These two are similar old heads. They could be all pro, but they've been kind of mid. Like every other game, they play well. And then, yeah, we got the two busters at the bottom, injured but trash. I literally just made this category for these two guys, if I'm going to be honest with you. Like, they're actually doo-doo water. But that's besides the point. Um, this is the video. Best and worst quarterbacks in the NFL. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hope I see you guys tomorrow on my picks list. Uh, we went 12-2 and two or 11-2 and two last week in picks. So make sure you check out that video. Make sure you check out Power Rankings for Week 11. And yeah, man, keep coming, keep coming back. I'm thinking I'm going to start doing two or three videos a week, long form wise. Keep watching them shorts. Keep commenting. I'm going to start reading all the comments, and I appreciate y'all, man. But we out of here. Yes, sir, ski.